vertical right now, that's that's good. Okay, wait. That's now there. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> How, are How are you? you? I'm good. How are you? So good, Nora. Thank you for meeting with me. I'm so excited when you reached out. I was like, oh my gosh, this is real. This is snake in the grass is happening. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm so excited to talk to you about the new show. Um, so let's start off with just what have you been up to since your last time on Big Brother? Yeah. So since the last time on Big Brother, oh my gosh, I got married. Um, I've done a ton of other shows. I don't know if, if everyone's following Amazing Race, Celebrity Fear Factor. Um, we were married. We had two kids, my husband and I, Brendan. And we are recently, right now, we're on a show called Better with the Branchels. It's on with Bespoke TV. It's amazing. We get to work with different organizations making a difference in their local communities. And now in August, premiering on USA Network, I'm going to be on this really cool show called Snake in the Grass, which I'm super excited about. I think it's going to be really fun. Yeah. So talking about Snake in the Grass with premieres in August, um, how yeah. did you get involved with that show? So with Snake in the Grass, they reached out to me and they were like, hey, we're doing this like really cool survivor type show. It's going to be um, filmed in Costa Rica. It's like something that you've never done on any of your other shows. And I've done like Fear Factor. So <laughs> I was thinking, wait, this is like more intense than Fear Factor. So yeah, so it's definitely like a survival show. It's from the producers of Naked and Afraid. So, um, it's filmed in the Costa Rican jungles. It's, um, they throw us in there. We have to find out who the snake is. There's four of us on my episode. Um, I'm with Janelle who was also from Big Brother, and then with Sari and Stephanie from Survivor. And I mean, this group of females is honestly like insane. When I saw them, I, I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that I have to, well, like I get to work with them, but I have to figure out like how to play this game together with them. Cause you know, we've ne nobody's ever played the game. So nobody knows how to figure out the game, you know? Right. Yeah. What was it like filming like alongside survivor legends like Suri? That must have been insane. It was, I, I'm telling you, I arrived on the island and I saw Suri and Stephanie and Janelle. And I was just like, oh, I was like, <laughs> oh my God, like that's Suri. Like what? Like <laughs> this woman is so powerful and like she is a force. She is a survivor legend. And Stephanie, like she lived on an island by herself. Like she was the sole survivor on her tribe. And then of course, like I'm a huge fan of Janelle and I consider Janelle a friend and, but I've never got to like actually play a game with her. So I was just like blown away that Janelle was there. We didn't like, didn't talk. We had no idea that we were all doing this. And I like, I know them from other things, but like, you know, we're all like hush hush and they told us to be super secretive about it. So I had no idea that they were going to be there. It was like, oh. I mean, honest to God, like our reactions when we see each other, we're just like, <laughs> what? Like I could not, like Janelle and Sari and Stephanie like are on this, like in Costa Rica with me right now, like playing this game. Like it's insane. Wow. That is so cool. I'm so excited to see it. Um, Thank you. And how did your experience filming this show, how was it different from like Big Brother and The Amazing Race? Yes, that's a great question. So this show is so different than Big Brother. Um, well, I mean, first in Big Brother, you know, you're competing for power. Um, and I was snake in the grass. Um, like, it's just, it's so different because one of us is a snake, you know, and it could be any of the four of us. Whereas on Big Brother with the saboteur, it was a little different. It felt different. You're competing for power. You're playing, you know, um, for HOHs and vetoes and all these different things. Whereas this, the whole time you have to compete and the snake might be trying to throw something because there's clues that we can get at the end of every single um, competition. So these competitions are like crazy and you can get a clue, which is, it gives you the identity of a snake. So the snake might want you to get the clue or they might not want you to get the clue, but we don't know. And nobody knows who the snake is. It could be me. It could be any of these other girls. And so for this show, you just kind of have to 
you know, um, always have your eye, eyes out. And maybe like you're the one tricking everyone. So you have to kind of play it. You know, you have to be really careful with how you're playing it. For sure. I'm excited to see that play out because the saboteur on your season went home so early. So we didn't even really yes. get to see that twist fully. So that's going to be a very well. Fun. And I think, yeah, a hundred percent. And I think it is so different because so the saboteur on big brother, they, it was just like, we still had to play the game and the saboteur wasn't necessarily trying to throw competitions because there was no incentive for that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So whereas on snake in the grass, it could be that you, you might want to, if you're the snake, you might want to throw a competition because there's different ways that you can play to win. And it's a hundred thousand dollar cash prize. So nice. the snake wants to win. Wow. That's so interesting. I'm so excited. Um, so how did your experience on other shows prepare you for this show? I think that my, I don't think my experience on other shows would have prepared me for this show at all. I will be honest, getting thrown into the jungles of Costa Rica and having to like, like we literally camp out in Costa Rica and we're, we're trekking through the jungles. We camp out. We don't have tents. We don't have like the modern conveniences. I don't, think we even had sleeping bags like I we might have had like a mat to sleep on but we slept in open air and like I'm not even kidding you it's like there's crocodiles there's jellyfish there's sharks there's I mean like and all these things are great for like you know we're playing this game snake in the grass <laughs> and, like, <laughs> there's snakes literally in the grass there's sharks in the water you have to like figure out your way through the game. So I think it's just, it was such a different type of game because you have to consistently be asking yourself who could possibly be the snake? Like, could it be someone trying to sabotage the game or, um, you know, I think you'll, when the viewers watch the show, they're gonna have to play along with the audience. The audience is gonna play along with, um, with us in the episode. So I don't think they're giving it away. So you're gonna have to guess who the snake is, which is really exciting. So transitioning to a couple big brother questions, obviously the premiere was last night. Um, do you have any favorite house guests so far? Did anyone stand out to you? Yeah, I really like Taylor. She, I like her because she's a huge Janelle fan and she's also a fan of Danielle Reyes. Um, I was a little upset watching their interviews because a lot of them said they want to throw the competitions. And then last night we saw, I mean, it was just like, I don't know, are they throwing the competitions or are they just like really bad? <laughs> so I really like the HOH. I think uh, uh, Dustin is, is, that's his name, right? Daniel? Daniel, yeah. Yeah, Daniel. Um, so Daniel, the HOH, I really like him. And He's the Elvis performer, um, he's from Vegas. So I'm excited to see what he does this week. Pooch was not my favorite because <laughs> I know, I know he had to play strategically by nominating the girls, but like, right. come on, you nominated three, three. females, mm -hmm. right? And I know like, it makes sense because they were the first ones out. So like strategically, maybe that's the best way he can say, oh, well, I had to nominate you, but he didn't have to nominate a third one when he picked Britney. Right. Kind of that's true. And it's hard too, because now they don't really get to talk to the house guests before the competitions. Like he said, he didn't even know their names. So yeah, the yeah. format of the premiere has changed and that's made it a little more difficult, I think. I think so too. And I'm really... I'm waiting to see what this twist is going to do because let's assume we all save Brittany tonight, right? And so if Brittany is saved, that's what I saw on Twitter. That's why I'm guessing it'll be Brittany. If Brittany is saved, um, does that mean she's safe for the rest of the week? Does that mean that she's going to be just like going back into the game where she can, she still has to play, she can vote? Like they didn't really explain a lot of how the twist is going to work. Yeah. And I'm a little, I'm confused about it because they said, the people we nominate or the people that are nominated might not go home. So, right. Yeah. I was going to ask you in general, what were your thoughts on like the first twist of the season, the backstage boss? Are you a fan? Not a fan? Yeah. I'm not a fan of that twist. I just don't like that. Well, I don't like that Pooch got so much power from doing mm -hmm. nothing. I think he should have had to win a competition or something. Right. I mean, he literally like, like was handed the backstage boss. Right. So it wasn't like, 
he won a competition and like you said he didn't really know anyone so I didn't really like that just from playing the game twice I think I would be really frustrated going into a twist like that but I guess on Big Brother you have to expect the unexpected right so it's kind of one of it's one of those things where you I feel like you kind of just have to you know be ready like be ready to shift and change and play however like whatever the house throws at you right I swear like every year the cast goes in and they say I have this plan this is my strategy but every year because it's a different cast they have to just kind of like they have to be ready to adapt and play right. however the cards that they're dealt because they're going to be dealt different cards I mean who knew they would have backstage you know what I mean like so they have to expect the unexpected literally for sure for sure um, and then in terms of gameplay, what are you hoping to see this season on Big Brother? I'm really hoping to see a female alliance. Um, I would love to see the girls stick together. Um, you know, even just from like Snake in the Grass, getting to play this game with like all these four powerful, amazing women. It was, it's so cool when I think when four women can play together and we get to watch that and um, I just feel like I would love to see, and I know it's a game, like they're competing for, you know, $750,000, but if they can work together and make it to the end, kind of like how the cookout did, I would love to see that happen. I would love for this girls Alliance to work out crossing fingers. Um, but mostly I know, right. <laughs> but mostly I would really love to see us like a strong competitor, make it to the end, someone that's playing the game the whole time. Um, I get disappointed personally when I see floaters, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> or like, you know, people that are just hanging out. I just, I, I prefer a game where we see people that are playing the whole game, where they're competing, where they're excited to be there. Um, and I wanna, I don't know. I just want them to like go for it. I would love a shift in power every week. I think as fans, we want to see the back and forth where it's not just one giant alliance carrying it through the season. And then last question, Rachel, would you ever play Big Brother again? Oh my gosh. I <laughs> I think about that all the time. I would love to play Big Brother again. I just don't know how realistic it is because now I'm a mom of two. Um, you know, I feel like I have all these other things in my life that are going on but if they ever did a shortened season of big brother where it was like three weeks I would a thousand percent be there I know Daniel Reyes would be there I know Janelle would be there I feel like we would get the season that we deserve <laughs> like yeah. June Song has said that she would be there oh, no. um so <laughs> I really hope that they do like this cool legends versus like I don't know just legends like don't even versus anything just a legend season like throw winners in, throw legends in. I think it could be really epic. That would be so awesome. I'm hoping that happens. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. And I assume you're a fan of the show too, right? Yeah, so like, huge fan. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like, could you imagine seeing all like Derek and Will and Dan and like me and Janelle and it would just be, I mean, so my cool. mind would be blown. Oh, I'm hoping for that in the future. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> crossing fingers. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to me, Rachel. I'll send you the link to the article when it comes out. Yes, please. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And um, make sure that uh, if you are watching this, that you tune into Better with the Brunchels because yes. it's a really fun show. And it was my passion project. Brennan and I got to work with so many cool, amazing organizations along the way and people that are really making a difference in their communities. And it's, I love the editing and I love how the show has all come together. And I think it's like a really cool, um, uplifting show. Awesome. And did you say where that's available to watch? Rachel? Yes. It's available on Bespoke TV. Right. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So that, and you can watch that on like, um, Xfinity, Cox, like, uh, it's a network, a TV network. So there's different ways like to download it. Um, but it, it says it, it's mentioned on the website. So if you go to their website, you can see all the different um, ways to view it. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Nora. No, I really appreciate you. Thank you.